I like the way Peyton Manning's retiring. I know the last couple of days, you got to pay attention to this stuff, and I'm telling you I'm right, and Peyton would acknowledge it. Peyton Manning now knows it's over. He knows it's over. His last seven big games, it's over. He can't, he can't do things. He always had a good arm. Now it's below average a lot. He was never mobile. I mean, now he's immobile. He was always smart, but his offensive line is so young, there's not much he can do with it. I mean, you watched the last seven games, but have you noticed what Peyton Manning has done? Unlike boxers who retire defensive and often broke and, and desperate, or I don't like the way Kobe's retiring. I just want stacks of money. There's a certain dignity to the way you retire. And Peyton is now almost auditioning for television networks. Have you seen his last two press conferences? He's joking with the media. And, and he's always been a teeth clencher. Bill Polian, his former general manager in Indianapolis, who worships him, says, listen, he's always been a, a guy that kind of clenches his teeth and he, oh, he prepares and he gets everybody. Have you watched how loose he is now? And he's not playing well. It used to be if he had a bad half, <laughs> he's grinding those teeth. He doesn't even play well now. He had a bite. He was making fun of the media. They asked him about an injury report. And he had given it some thought. And he started poking fun of the media. And to me, it was like, it's acknowledging, guys, I'm kind of auditioning for the next life. He's retiring with dignity. He can see. He's not denying the issues. He's laughing with them. I thought that was a real acknowledgement of a, a, a he'll play the rest of the year. I thought he should have retired at the end of last year. And it, this, this also strikes me. Generally speaking, the all time greats, many of them come in with another all time great magic and bird in 79 come in together. They enter the same time and it's a parallel life. They live together endorsements, championships, Magic ended up having the better career. Bigger endorsements, he's probably done better with his life as far as, you know, I mean, like he owns, he's the mayor of Los Angeles, essentially. He won more titles. Phil Mickelson and Tiger, even though, even though Tiger was younger, if you look comparatively at their 10 to 12 year mega years, Mick came close, Tiger dominated. If you look at Marino and John Elway came in in like 19, what was it, 1984, Elway ended up winning. Marino is second. Um, and when you look at Peyton and Brady, Manning comes in late 90s. Tom starts playing 2001. They're, they're living. We have basically, for the last 10 to 12 years, they've been our magic and bird. They have been our magic and bird. And it, the whole time, camps were on both sides. A couple of weeks ago, maybe a month ago, remember that email that came out when Tom Brady was talking to a buddy and it came out in the Wells Report where Tom said, Peyton's got a year left, I've got seven. That's the final chapter. Don't kid yourself. Magic watch Bird, vice versa. Tiger watch Mick, Mick watch Tiger. Marino, Elway, oh, they were competitive. Peyton and Tom have been competitive. And Tom's now pulling away in that comparison. But the great thing for Peyton Manning is, there's no reason to be defensive because in my life, and I hate the term Mount Rushmore, Peyton's in the top four. It's Brady, no, no particular order, although I would have one, no particular order. Brady, Montana, Peyton, and Elway, to me, are the greatest. Peter King would argue Otto Graham, but it doesn't count when you played football in your bare feet. So to me, Peyton is dignified. He's legendary. He's got nothing to prove. We all wish he would have won one more Super Bowl. That Seattle thing, just not a great last shot. But I thought there's a real dignity to his narrative now. And it's, it's, this is the way it should be. And he can do anything he wants. He'll, he'll be offered ownership, general manager. I would like to see him. I don't want to see him in television, frankly. I think he's too smart. Guys like me can end up in TV. I don't, I don't want to see Peyton and Manning in TV. I would like to see Peyton Manning do what John Elway does, which is go into football. And I'd love to see him be a general manager. How great would it be to see Peyton at the NFL draft picking the next quarterback? That, to me, is fascinating. Peyton's opinion on Andrew Luck and, and Russell Wilson, yeah, it, it is okay. It is okay. Peyton on draft day, making the choice, the number one pick to me is I, it, compelling. So anyway, a lot of you think I'm anti Peyton Manning, but I think there's a certain dignity to retire, and I think he's hitting all the right notes, and I think it's great.